Hello everybody. Um, I have a rhema word from Jesus. I sat down with my notebook and I asked him if he wanted to say anything to me. I invited Jesus to speak and um, what I initially heard first was write it down, which that I didn't write down, but then what came to me was Psalm 116.7, so I'll read that, Psalm 116, verse 7, Return to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. So that was encouraging. Then what came to me was Job 7.11, which reads, hold on one second... Okay, Job chapter 7, verse 11. Therefore, I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Then what came to me was Psalm 111, 9. So let me go back. Psalm 111.9 He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. Um, and then this is the message that I received. There are some who are alone like you, but you are not alone. None of you. I am with you. I am training you for what's to come. Building your endurance. Recompense has come. You will see soon. Share with my flock, April. Shepherd them as needed. You've done well. I'm pleased. Focus on me and get done what needs it. Soon you will fly. Say goodbye. You heard me, the shift is here. No more. Letting go is here. Pack up your gear. Sort what needs sorting. I say again, recompense is here. You'll be, you'll be smiling ear to ear, my dear. The time has come. You will overcome if you rest in me. Remain under my wings. Trust in me. No one will snatch you away from me, but you must not leave me. Obedience is key. I will guide you. As I have before. Don't ignore your lack of peace when I don't give it to you. Let my peace be your guide. In me you will hide. Joy will come. Wait for it. So that is the message that I just received from Jesus. Um, and of course, the scriptures that I believe he's referring to, um, I mean, I don't have them ready for you, but you know, there's a verse, there's, you know, there's multiple verses here. Uh, Psalm 91, uh, where we are kept under his wing. Uh, there's a verse in the New Testament that talks about um, how, you know, no one can snatch us from his hands. Um, there's that verse that people have been quoting for months in one of the prophets that says, Though it tarry, wait for it. Um, so, you guys know this isn't my normal thing. I'm not one of your tickle-your-ear prophets, but when I get something, I share it. So, um, the fact that God is saying this to me tells me that it's the real deal because um, not that not that when prophets prophesy ahead like months ahead of time not that it's not the real deal but you know um, 
it's kind of like a, a tease and a disappointment because it doesn't happen anytime soon, you know. Um, when I get messages like this, it means it's not too far off because God doesn't give me stuff like this like months and months ahead of time. So, or at least that's been my experience thus far anyway. So let this be an encouragement to you. This message seems to particularly be for people like me who have no one, who have no support system. Um, although I'm sure it might be for others as well. Um, but, you know, Psalm 116.7, he's talking about uh, giving us a bountiful blessing and telling us to rest. Um, and then what was the other one? Psalm 111.9. What did that say again? Redemption to his people. Um, and I believe the, the reference to Job 7.11 is just how maybe a lot of us have been grumbling and complaining and just kind of getting worn out and fed up. He knows that. He sees that. Um, and he's patient with us and, and he, he sympathizes and empathizes with us. And I think that's why he brought that up. Um, but he just wants to remind us that he's with us and he loves us and you know we just gotta keep our eyes on him and um you know i i encourage everybody to just sing sing a song you know um it says in psalms to sing to the lord a new song that's actually on my bible cover <laughs> from my old Bible that's falling apart. Sing to the Lord a new song, Psalm 96, 1. Um, you know, the last couple days I've had particular songs in my heart. Today I had um, God, You're So Good in my heart. And I think it was yesterday I had um, Show Me Your Glory was in my heart. Just just sing. Um, it's It's comforting. It's a form of solace, you know, um, and it it softens your heart. So I encourage everybody to just sing a little song to the Lord, even if it's just a new song, like 96.1, Psalm 96.1, something that you just make up from your heart. Um, I believe Jesus appreciates those the most, probably. Just like when a little child makes a little, you know, card or gift for their parent from scratch or something, you know? So I definitely feel like, I feel like Jesus is ministering to my heart right now. I feel not quite like I'm going to cry, but you know, I, I feel definitely softened up right now. So, um, actually I, I might cry because this is very encouraging. Um, so, so let this be encouraging to you that, uh, there is hope. Jesus is our hope, and um, things are about to shift. Things are about to change. Um, joy is coming around the corner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, guys. Um, so, again, you guys know that I'm I'm pretty freaking genuine, <laughs> and I don't, I don't like to blow smoke up people's uh, rear ends, you know? I'm not one to tickle your ears, so... Um, the fact that Jesus gave me this uh, tells me that things are about to change in a positive way. So, please let this be an encouragement to your heart, alright? Alright, I bless you guys all in Jesus' name. And as always, I'm here. Um, I know I kind of am, uh, well not kind of, but I am <laughs> transparent on this channel. I don't put on some show to act like I've got it all together. Um... But I know I have a lot to offer people. So if anybody needs any help or anything, you are always welcome to reach out to me via comments or email. And I will do the best I can to, to minister to you and to help you. Okay? Alright. I love you guys in Christ. And I bless you all in Jesus' name.